Okay. This making my cursor blink a lot. Yeah, I can see that. Good evening, friends. Welcome to the Unfinished Swan. Finish him! Is your cursor a little duck, duck foot? That's awful. I guess it's a swan foot. Okay, this is very weird. I'm assuming it wants me to play with a controller. Oh. Maybe because my controller's plugged in. Why do devs never finish bird games anyway? There's this and the untitled goose game. <laughs> Thank you, Dracon, for the subscription. Splat, splat, splat. Monroe's mother had always been much better at starting things than finishing them. When she died, she left behind over 300 canvases, not one of them finished along with Monroe, who felt pretty unfinished oh my himself. God, it's a field game. The orphanage allowed him to keep only one painting, and so he this chose... This game too loud, or is Jonas too quiet? That has always been oh, his mother's um, favorite. am I too quiet? I shouldn't be. But I that night, loud. he woke up to find the swan uh, had disappeared. Well, so he took I'm, his mother's I'm good on my own, and I can see the metal. followed the footprints okay, into a little door he hadn't seen before. I think I don't think I'm coming in pretty good. I'm not sure what's going on. I definitely have to turn it down the Discord window. I have you at 128, and you're still kind of quiet. Am I? Hold on one second. Let me let me check. I hate Windows. I hate Windows. I hate Windows. Hang on. Uh, let me look at the. Uh... Hold on one second. Shouldn't be. Uh, do I properties? Um. All right. Let me. Let me. I'm gonna notch myself up a little bit. That's How good. This is okay. Fine. Wow. Four points is enough. All right. <laughs> the planets weren't aligned. I don't know. Um. Anyway. Unfinished Swan, how you doing? Hello? Oh, I see. Cute. Yes, I am. Oh, bad. How dare you take I, advantage uh, of his undirected comment? <laughs> <laughs> it's just how I roll. So uh, I hear we've come to uh, finish a swan. This is a feels game. Like, they made that clear within the first, like, 30 seconds, pretty much. Oh, boy. Yeah. Do you remember the painter in Edith Finch's tower at the top of the house? Vaguely? I mean, it's been, it's been, God, three and a half years since we played either Finch. Three and a half years, Bench. That's right. Oh, you found a crate. A loot crate. Is it Kratos? Sure. Could be. Yay. There was ink inside. Doesn't seem to be anything well, that I can Edith interact Finch with. Well, that that kid was the protagonist of this game. Oh. Are you sure that was the implication? See if you can find the repulsion gel. That usually, uh, you know, 
The only two things I can seem to do is uh, throw a glob of ink and jump. I like it. It's kind of minimalist. It's the minimum. I also cannot seem to minimum. walk up this slope here. Wait, wait. No. It's a really interesting mechanic, isn't it? Yeah. I'm. I am intrigued. <clears throat> What's wrong with my voice? I'm intrigued. Uh, I'm, w I'm waiting to see where it goes because. I've seen games like this, games that are kind of like existential and abstract, that start <laughs> off with a lot of promise and then don't really go anywhere. I mean, we've played a few of those, so it's, you know, it remains to be seen. I like the concept, though. But if something goes wrong and I don't end up liking the entire game, it's all Stoker's fault. That's right, it's me. It was you. It was you! It's always been my Christian. Aha! What's that? Swan it's... Prince. Yeah. That was supposed to be left by a swan. Rabbit season. Swan Duck season. Duck season. <laughs> Duck season fire! Everybody loves it must awesome. be weird to speedrun. Like a speedrunner just memorizes it all and runs into a white void for the whole video. Uh, I don't think uh, actually throwing ink slows you down at all, so you can just go like, do 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 do. Fish! Fish. You're fishy. Fish. Ha. Oh, alright. Uh, frog. Frogo. Indeed. Hup. Anyway, Stoker, how you doing? I'm doing okay. How you doing today? Oh, we're in the home stretch of your game jam. Is that right? Yeah, it sure is. Is that fish is that... eating? That was that fish eating ink? Um, possibly. <clears throat> yes. The, anyway, yeah, that's right. We uh, it's been a valiant journey to Mordor, but we're ready to uh, to 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 melt that ring. <clears throat> More door, less door. Same amount of door. Mm. dimensional space. I know, it's a bitch, isn't it? It so is. It's like you're moving one way, you're moving another way, then you turn and look, there's some more ways! Ah, <laughs> too no. many. It's too many ways. Right? No, it's water beyond that. Someone okay. needs to do something about this. Yeah. And yeah, that someone is me. Yeah, you tell that universe. You know, I remember reading this weird theory that, like, at the beginning, like at the Big Bang, the universe had these, like, there were a couple other extra dimensions that got, like, squashed up um, by the fundamental forces, and they're still technically there, but there's, you know, they're, they're like, squished, like, pruned, like, um, like, like you know, like, like pruning a branch. They're just waiting for their chance. Yeah, they just... <laughs> Rick, the graphics settings are a bit low. Raise them. See, they're entirely turned off. Yeah. Let's see. Really enjoying the soundtrack so far. Yeah. Ah, a bridge. Maybe I maybe I turned the music down too low. Let's see. <laughs> Wait, is there supposed to be music? I'm I don't joking. know. <laughs> huh. 
I wonder how much lighter on processing it is to basically only render invisible geometry, though. I don't think it's that much. I mean, it does save on textures, but there's lots of ways you can save on textures. Yeah. A lot of games will have extremely low res textures for anything that's like off in the distance, and then and then only when you get to a certain um, proximity will they load the high um, higher res textures. With this, there's only one texture, and it's mass. Yes. Oh. Prison. Oh no. Is it gay baby jail? What? You heard me. I I heard you. Listen, some people, uh, some people live their whole lives for sporting. Stoker. Yes, Jonas. Stoker. You're Stoker. absolutely right! <laughs> <laughs> Is that the, the, uh, title of Goose? <laughs> I don't know. Is it finished? Nope. It's still going. It just keeps on going and going. And... Man, they should do a collaboration between this and Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> just clean off an entire level into invisibility. Nice. Yeah, why not? It is weird that you don't want to strike things head on if you can avoid it, because there just also makes it impossible to discern what it is. And now, go down the thing. Probably took quite a bit of testing to make all this visually readable. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Are those the nope. swan's feet? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Yeah, making them was quite a feat. <laughs> wow, we might be able to beat this in one set. This is not less. No, this is actually a pretty small game. Unless... 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 Unless Stoker... Uh, <laughs> what can I say? I don't know, Jonas, yes. what game is I? Unless Stoker does some kind of bad thing. You know? Like those things that bats do. I don't know what you're talking about. You know uh, exactly hmm. what I mean. Don't pretend you don't. That yeah, is right bouncy. There. Nice. Why is that bouncy? Mm. 
So chicken. No, that's just a chicken. This a red herring chicken. So, Chad, what's new and amazing in your lives? It has to be both new and amazing. It yes. cannot be just one or the other. We're going to review each of these claims and judge them accordingly. And if it's not They're worthy, going then... before the council. Yeah. If it's not worthy, you're banished. The ad council. Each of these statues has something gold on them. I cannot collect it. Hmm. Maybe not yet. Maybe I'll get some. Ah. Uh, any of the trigger buttons will launch an ink lob. Oh, that's good. Ah uh, ha ha ha! Oh no, he's going mad with power. Stop him. Deep I purchased three books and made a friend. That's well, the gold presumably is just there to guide you so that you see something at all. Probably, yeah. It's a clue. A clue? A clue. It's a, a clue, clue. Card. Starring Tim Curry and Madeline Kahn and Christopher Lloyd and... I can't remember who else was in the movie and... <laughs> Sounds like you need a clue. I guess it bounces oh. off if it's... Class. It's Robert like, Mull, was he in it? I think it was in... Are they like water balloons full of ink? Ink balloons? I was gonna say, if they're full of ink, then they can't be water balloons, though, can they? Oh yeah, I think I remember this. The balloons maybe were extra things. We are an extra thing. Jonas, do you remember that one episode of Futurama? Which one? That one. Oh, yeah. I love that one. It was the one where Fry got into his um his his bank account that had just been collecting interest for a thousand years and he became a billionaire. And um he started buying up all this nostalgic stuff and he was all like, Well, I've learned what makes me happy. It's not people, it's things and Bender's <laughs> like, I'm a thing. <laughs> the king was young, arrogant, and amazingly talented. He was convinced no color existed that was good enough for his garden, so he left it white. While he pondered how to create some new colors, his kingdom began attracting settlers and soon he found himself with bigger problems. That's just an excuse for procrastinating, King. <laughs> yeah, well, he's not an amateur procrastinator, he's a pro procrastinator. <laughs> Yeah. 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 No. Okay. But what if? What if, yeah? Get him! Who watches the watchtower? Now, tower? this could also cross over with Splatoon. Just go ham on every inch of the level with every color. Mm. You need colors for that, though. Yeah, yeah we'll get there. That's against the theming Rome. of the story. Rome wasn't colored in the night. Uh, 
Uh, I would have to launch off so this platform. So what's the crown? Wait, what'd you say? What'd you say, uh, Fed? So what's the crown? Mm -hmm. um. Who crowns the crownman? Ah. Oh, time to go down. Wait. This is the same level. <laughs> Just what if the Untitled Goose is the final on, boss so. and it just ducking kills you at the end? <laughs> That's no good. What if the real Untitled Goose were the friends that we made along the way? If I just what if, what, fall down on this what, side, there we go. What if the final boss is like your ink clone? Nigga Scott. He, yeah, and he's like, he's Why like. Why is this so sluggish? Looking up and down. Hmm. Change your uh, ziggy zag. There you go. You know, I suggest something similar. That doesn't help. Oh. Hammer of speed. Gamers never look ziggy zag. I wonder how Miller's doing. <laughs> uh, still not any good. Miller made his bed and now he's not sleeping in it. <laughs> well, joking aside, one thing I really seriously am planning. Are you is using a, goal. a mouse or controller? Controller. What are you saying, Jonas? Oh, uh, yeah, one of the, um, serious things I'm planning is, in, like, an actual goal is to learn Godot and at least, like, the most basic level of coding so that I can help out a little bit with the code stuff next, uh, next, when, when, whenever we do it. The new subjects were tired of white. They were tired of tripping, of banging their shins, of misplacing their homes. So they started painting everything ruining the king's spotless design. In response, the king outlawed all non-magical brushes and pledged to spend the next month painting shadows for his kingdom. Yeah, this seems like a uh, really um, practical use of your time, king. Interesting, this wall is gray. I wonder what it means. It's morality. Gasp. Something, something, death. No. Actually, it's just nice to be able to see things. Yeah, but that That's now means that uh, things can be hidden in plain sight just by painting them the same color as the walls. That's true. Uh, what the hell? Is that Nessie? Fishy. Uh, I suppose, perhaps? Question mark? Oh, can't see. That's the fishy. <laughs> pet what the fish, pet the fish. Um, I wonder, Jonas wondered aloud, um, if any, if anyone's ever done a game where there you are could fake... could the fish? Yeah, thank you. No, but there are, like, fake cutscenes where you the whole point is to subvert, you know, to start doing things during the cutscene that you think is supposed to be static, because that's the only way to, um, you know, the only way to advance, or something like that, you know what I mean? Nope. No comprehension of it. I'm coming up with like cutting edge shit over here, and Stoker's like, "Eek, eek, squeak! I'm a bad." Nee, nee, nee. 
Wow, it sounds just like me. It's like talking into a mirror. <laughs> it's like looking into a receiver. <laughs> Who just came in? Hello. It's Bert. Miller, Hi, Bert. you're alive! Yes, you may. Yes, I am. <laughs> I mean, only kind of. I just, I need to look at something else today or else my oh, blood pressure no. is going to explode. Miller, no! Hey, okay, how much sleep have you gotten? I've been sleeping okay. I've been sleeping eight hours every night. Okay, good, good. That was. But that it's was been eight... like, it's been like five a.m. to one p.m. Oh no! You're on party hours. Uh... <laughs> no, what's the what's the furry thing? The six a.m. club or something? The six a.m. club. God damn it! Yeah, one time when I was at a con, we did have a roommate who who slept those kinds of hours because literally. The only part of the con that he did was was the rave. He didn't do anything else. So he just slept the entire day in the room and then woke up at night and went out and partied. I mean, to that be fair, I've, I've been to cons at like 11 a.m. noon. Like, it's not really much going on. Yeah, well, <laughs> I did that back in the day during my conference. Rick, can you get that mini balloon? I'm trying. Well, that won't let me fit. Oh. It's Maybe if you hit it with paint. Yeah, for the shot. It stands to. Oh, hey! Look at that! Fed, you're smart. You're smarter than the average bear? Cool. Hey. Uh -huh. Where do you think you're going? Stupid winged creature. How dare. <laughs> Probably think he's hot shit with his hollow bones and his webbed feet. Wish I had hollow bones and webbed feet. Well, I mean, maybe there's a way, Stoker. <laughs> Someday medical science will find a way to remove the insides of my bones and fuse my toes together. <laughs> you ever read about how, like, scientists have taken, like, luciferase? Imagine how horrible an invisible labyrinth would be. I don't have to, I've played Super Mario RPG. <laughs> Whole families got lost for weeks at a time. Mail took months to arrive. Anyway, you were saying about science gone amok, Jonas. Oh yeah, no, I remember reading like... Eventually, the complaints grew so loud, even the king couldn't ignore them. Now, I remember reading about like, glow in the dark chickens that scientists like Jack Lynch by taking, um... The glow in the dark fight. chickens that were being grown as a uh, replacement for light bulbs. <laughs> No, they like they like took like the the, the light carrying protein from like fireflies or something and, and made the chickens express it. Yeah, no, they've done that with several creatures. They've done it with mice and rats. I think you there are even some glow in the dark cats out there. I wonder when they're gonna. I wonder, I wonder when they're gonna find some poor bastard who, who volunteers for it. You know. Some... I mean, there's I mean, a million people who would volunteer for it. The FDA says it don't matter if they want it. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, yeah, I mean, I think it'd be kind of kick-ass to glow in the dark myself. <laughs> you know, you're playing this level with the, like, everything is the same color because everything has absolute light or absolute shadow or something. And it just makes me think of that one Samurai Jack episode. Oh, yeah, with the ninja. Yeah. Oh, that was such a cool Where Jack episode. became the white ninja and he was facing off against the black ninja and then just the entire... Whoa place they were standing in became absolute light and absolute darkness. There was no middle shading on anything. So yeah, there were some really cool man. visuals in that episode. <laughs> that he decided to start over. One morning he painted a boat and set off to find the perfect spot. He told himself he'd come back someday to finish what he had started, but of course, he never did. Color. <laughs>
So, do, what? Why is it called Unfinished Goose? <laughs> Unfinished Goose swan. Game. <laughs> Sorry, Unfinished Swan. It's okay. We've all been mixing up Goose and Swan this whole time. <laughs> okay, basically, Miller, it's a feels game, and everything that's happening is kind of obviously metaphorical. And yeah, it's everything. a it's it's a metaphor for um. Phrase. Um, First time in weeks. Good. Death. I don't know. Okay. Even better when the wind pushed him close. Here we've got the kid from the '90s dental commercial. He was feeling um, so good, in fact, that he forgot oh, that all one. about yeah, you know. his fear of heights. But when the swan wriggled free and Monroe fell over the side, he uh, remembered almost immediately. Uh, that might have been the end of Monroe if this were a shorter story, but it isn't, which is why Monroe's troubles were just beginning. I finished the garden chapter. Well, it's no longer an unfinished garden, now right, is it? Now they are there. There's four chapters. Yeah. Let's give you a head pat. The Unfinished Empire. I prefer the Unfinished Empire Strikes Back. The Unfinished Empire? Does he go, hey, better- the water and found himself in a massive city with no sign of the swan mm. or anyone else. Well, except someone's enormous pair of feet. These were attached to a giant who could have been a big help in catching the swan, but unfortunately, here was the laziest giant who had ever lived, and it was his day off. Having mm. celebrated in his usual way, he was now sleeping it off and quite unable to hear Monroe yelling. While he was looking for a way to wake the giant, Monroe noticed something even better. A floating ship. Two balloons. God, this only feels like balloons. Balloons. I feel like really, really, really rainbow. Look, don't don't hate me because I'm totally right. I'm imagining that these uh, sequences are being drawn by the uh, How's It Made guy who did the intros for the episodes. Where they did like this fancy illustration, but it was all without lifting a pen. Yeah. I'm throwing blue paint now. Finally, you got the repulsion gel. No, you're playing yeah. Binding uh, with Isaac. You're shooting tears, obviously. That's. Those are some bouncy tears. Have you played Binding with Isaac? Um. We didn't do that. Probably not. Not it's... on stream, at least. No, we haven't. It's a somewhat difficult roguelite. I don't. I don't know if it'd be up Rick's alley. <laughs> Maybe. It is famous slash infamous for its um, weird, oh, yeah. uh, unsettling culty imagery and stuff. Oh, this. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's I... from the Meat Boy people. Yeah. I... I don't know if this would be, this would be a good one. <laughs> it's pretty much all about gross visuals and concepts, but the gameplay is also quite good. Finding of yeah. Isaac, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I believe it. I, 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 one of my friends definitely streamed it at some point. I can't remember who or when. The memory's going, but, um... But it was something. you, the day of all the blood. <laughs> oh, no. Ray says, I think Rogue Legacy 2 might be more Rick's thing in the roguelike genre. Well, obviously what we need to do is we need, need to make some kind of language game that's also a roguelite. How would that work, though? You just keep going to a new nation and new peoples. Things get uh, scrambled around, new glyphs get... Uh, general or evaporated. new glyphs get generated. FP, F, FPS language game. The only way you can the only way you can win is translate letters is by shooting them and, and <laughs> dissecting them and finding the syllables inside. Clearly, you it. keep learning more words each run and end up with a whole language. <laughs> the at bat.
Ah, yes. Two knights on horseback. One is B. One is At. One is K. The other At. So Gwaine's word! Gwaine's word! Too austere and that there was nowhere to relieve themselves, the king ignored them. But when they started relieving themselves in his pots, the king hastily built them a sewer system. Oh, it's funny because poop is disgusting. Ew. Yeah. They peed in his pots. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Races, oh, no. I remember there being a game where you type to shoot zombies. Typing yes. of the dead? Yeah. Hell yeah. Typing <laughs> of the dead's a great game. The story in that's also very funny. You know, I was... Before I, um... <clears throat> I took a typing class in junior high as an elective, um, and this is like back when I had like you know like little kid reflexes. I was you know I was able to like I, I was able to clock in at like 110 words per minute. I was real real proud of myself. Then I got on the internet and met other furries, and everybody could do that. I was gonna say 110. That's cute. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm usually at 140 to 160. All right, look. Look, man, I all I do all day is type. That is, that is everything I do. It's what I do to relax. It's what I do for work. Nice. I forget, man. What do you, you use Visual Studio, right, for coding? Uh, yeah. When I yeah. would code for Unity, and I usually use C Sharp. Yes, I would use Visual Studio. Oh, okay. Does Godot have, like, a built-in one, or what is it? Yeah, so this is the interesting thing that I've learned, mm -hmm. and kind of why I don't want to use the built-in c -sharp stuff for Godot, is that if you use their built-in coding language, there's a lot of stuff that kind of just automatically works, mm -hmm. uh, instead of you having to be more explicit with it. That seems like it would make sense. I mean, if it's native to the thing, but... You yeah. Know. It's like you can in your code be like, hey, you know, your neighbor uh, thing in the hierarchy. Yeah, do, run this method on that. And the, the game just goes, OK, I believe you. Okay. Instead of being like, uh, you didn't explicitly tell me what type my neighbor is or exactly where they're located <laughs> or which of my neighbors. And it's just like, no, it just understands. So you, you don't even have to name it or anything? Or you just say you, you can be less specific about things. And it just makes the whole process faster and easier. Which for a game like what we're doing is perfectly fine. Yep. Um gotta go up. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Cool, we got a mechanic. Um Part two, scaffolding. So you can have chat for the uh game jam game. Yeah. Keep your eye out for that. T t uh turn in is on Monday morning. Stretch. It's gonna be yeah, and now we're in the home stretch. We yeah. finally made our first build today. Oh, home Fed. sweet stretch. Uh, Fed just finished flying all the level backgrounds. I'm going to be uh, rock machining. And then, uh, <laughs> and then it's just going to be testing, testing, testing. Good shit. Rackon says, are y'all going to be playing the game on stream? Probably someday. I sure hope so. I was, I was gonna let Rick answer that one. Oh shit! <laughs> Probably. Uh, no. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Rick seems very good at those. Uh, yeah, duh. Obviously, kind of answers. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm gonna feel kind of stupid because I wrote the thing and I probably won't remember uh, how to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to the best of us. <laughs> Rick's like, depends how good it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, hide my shame. My shame. What's the game about? The game is about uh, meeting aliens in Haven Celestia. It's a game about friendship. It's a game about... It is a game, game about, about friendship. about friendship and lying to people's faces. Yay! I mean, what else is friendship? 
Well, it's more of a proof of concept, isn't it? Yeah. How long I mean, would it even take to beat? Probably not long, I don't think. Six years. <laughs> okay, six years. <laughs> I timed it. I mean, I haven't looked at the word count, but <clears throat> assuming you didn't fail any of the missions, it would probably still take an hour and 15. You think so? I think so, just to read through everything. Okay. And then, of yeah. course, if you fail missions, you have to go replay them, so I can easily stack up to two hours for most people. That's true. Uh, we just want me to jump over to this ladder, then. So, no. <laughs> but yeah, it's set in the Haven Celestia universe. This Haven Celestia cinematic universe. That's right. Black Waltz says meeting aliens or meeting aliens. One spelled M E E T, one spelled M E A T. Well, I haven't been directly involved in this one, so it's probably the former. <laughs> Who just came in? I bet you it's from Canada! It is from Canada. There we it go. Came from Canada. I it's can't reach that far. Okay, how's it going? That's going all right. How's it going with you, Jason? Uh, lots of death. I'm pretty good. Oh, okay. Face uh, that's That's just life in Canada, man. Yeah. Oh. The life of a gamer. A Canadian gamer. A Canamer. That's how it works. A Canadian Cobra. A Canobra. James P. Cobra. Attorney at law. <laughs> Got the Cobra. Ray says, Rick, what does the P stand for? Uh, uh, it's, it, a it's a secret. <laughs> Obviously, it his, stands for playing his games. His full name is Rickless Phineas Griffinus. The third. Esquire. Esquire. Junior. <laughs> and Ted Theodore Logan. <laughs> <laughs> What? Can you enter the black door? Well, I couldn't enter most black doors. Doesn't look like it. Yep. The pets. There's something on the controls that I don't know. Sniper rifle? Do you get a sniper rifle in this? Ah. <laughs> Stop time for balls. Beg pardon? L plus Stop our hose. <laughs> I'm sorry? What's this about our hose now? I, I think those I are gameplay it. mechanics you haven't hit yet, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yes, and you assassinate the king at the end. Or the goose, maybe. That's what the sniper rifle is for. Cool. So I want to kill the geese? Unheard of. But the goose killed my father. Not very nice goose. Why are you Oh, uh, now I can reach it. Decided to jump off the handrail. Uh, hmm. Look, see, even those geese are wrong. <laughs> People have the mustache. The geese have mustaches and crowns. They're for the royalty. You want to assassinate royalty? You're rude. Oh god, I King forgot today. The two genders. <laughs> Today's Friday the 13th, and it's a full moon. It is, it is Friday the 13th. And there's an eclipse tomorrow. And oh, it's Halloween month. Wait, there's a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse? Solar. It is indeed Friday the 13th. <laughs> And I have a celebratory hockey mask on. Wait, is it actually passing over the U.S.? It's passing over Texas. Oh, shoot. You know what? It's gonna... If, if, I had no idea this was happening. If I was in Oregon, I'd be able to see it. I am too far north. But you're right in the path, aren't you? Kind of. Would have been cooler if the eclipse had been today, though. We're on Halloween. Yeah. 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 It's hard to get these things scheduled, though. I saw one get in back here. 16, I think. Um, it was weird because, aside from, you know, the whole, like, the, the visual part of it, the sun, you know, being momentarily blotted out, 
to pr- to form a shadow, um, the, you know, bigger bigger than everything around me. Um, it got cool. That was the weird part. Like it got cold for a minute. I remember the last time uh, there was a solar eclipse. I was still working at the uh, movie theater, and we had multiple people who uh, wanted to uh, get 3D glasses from us to view the eclipse, and <laughs> we were like, these are not safe eye protection for the eclipse. You know that, right? <laughs> the thing that scares me is some of these people were teachers! <laughs> but how else would you see the eclipse in 3D? Yeah. <laughs> Got me there! Um... It's like, yes, the 3D glasses are polarized, but they're not polarized enough! <laughs> when, uh, when I saw... Spin it around the other way and then go around, so you can go up the ladder. When I um, saw the one in 2016, I had the... Um, that you can buy these filtered things. If only online. goes that far, I'd have to go to that side. You gotta get to that beehive looking thing. Uh... Eclipse is always. I think there's like. They come in series. Like, you know, they always hunt in packs. Um, so they'll probably. Their vision be, is based on movement. Yeah. So they'll probably be more of them. Nope, this is the last one. Oh, okay, never mind. They're discontinuing will, the line. Some will never be uh, blotted out again. We're stuck with it. Don't worry. We'll be able to defeat the sun. After all, I have an army of tigers. Yeah. I knew you were going to bring, uh, bring up something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'd like... I mean, there's a big one that I'm probably going to go try and see in a few years. That's happening, I think, like in Mexico. Um... Because my mom lives down there, and that might be fun to that might be a fun excuse for a trip. But uh, eclipse, Mexico. Trip. Yeah, it, it's gonna like start in Mexico and then go like proceed like northeast. So like, I think like people, you might you might see it, Stoker. Um, Hell yeah, I think um, I know that like there's one town in uh, like Illinois or someplace. Next year's total eclipse should hit Mexico more fully. Oh, yeah. Um, no, but the, the, there's like this one town in like Illinois or, so, or someplace like that uh, <laughs> that gets a lot of eclipses just because of its particular place on the planet or something like that. Like several of those paths will automatically cross it. But I don't remember exactly where. It's in uh, Eclipsia. Eclipsia. Balloons. Balloon. You bust at one of them. Bustin' makes me feel good. Look at them float. Look at this photograph. Look at this graph. Still one of my favorites. <laughs> Also liked the one that had like uh you know one of those those coin operated rides you would get in as a kid and this one was uh a little giraffe one and it was like look at this faux giraffe <laughs> Nice. That one was pretty good too. <laughs> as the city filled up with people, the streets filled up with garbage. In a fury, the king painted over the roads the canal, which swept away the trash. Oh along God! Have you actually children. seen that movie, Jonas? <laughs> something else. A horde of no, violence, which began nope. covering the city. You have so a I have not seen Silent Night, Deadly Night Two, or whatever it is. It is Silent Night, Deadly Night Two. You nailed it. Yeah. Uh, I have. That sure is a movie. <laughs> 
sure is. Oh, low budget horror is the best. It's, uh... Both of the Silent Night... Well, I mean, there's more than just two of them. I think they made four or five of them total. Um, but both the first two are so worried that you're not going to understand the central concept that is a guy dresses up like Santa Claus and kills people that they spend an incredible amount of time on backstory. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> because, you know, this is a very, very difficult, uh, high concept, uh, idea. You know. They want to make sure you're, you're following them. <laughs> And the kid has, like, such distressed grunting sounds when he lands. <laughs> distressed grunting sounds is also going to be one of my bands. <laughs> no, 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 that's not the name of the band, that's the genre. Oh, of course. How silly of me. <laughs> it's almost as though I'm not taking this seriously. <laughs> How could you not be taking this seriously? How dare you? I dare very well. How dare you? That's mine. You want me to jump from the other side? Go in there. Hmm. Need more force. Oh. Let's go back Maybe into just... it. Use teamwork. Use teamwork. And make it grow with water balloons. That's how science works. Science is groovy. Stoker, did you know that you're made of science? Oh my god. Yeah. That's what I found under my toenail. Uh. Science! Uh. So is it oh. you... Shoot at a location and that makes them grow, or you shoot a location and then they grow to that point. I don't know. It's a conundrum. It's a conungulus. It's tungulus. That was laser neat. Yeah, well, you know who else thought those leaves were neat? Jesus? Joseph Stott. Oh. <laughs> well, we went in very different directions on that one. Discord. Unacceptable. Oh, such a lovely trellis. So, chat, it's October, and, you know, there's one question on all of our minds. Raptor or T-Rex? Asking the big questions this time. Right, right. The biggest. And it's a tie so far. <clears throat> I'm going to have to, um, I think I may have to go Team T-Rex. Going Team T-Rex. All right, T-Rex is winning out. Team Rex. My, my finger's hovering over the... Oh, wait, hang on. we got to vote for Raptor. Wait, there's a Raptor? D
Close to doors of raptors. GC, you tune back into the conversations at very interesting times. <laughs> Perhaps the best times. Perhaps the worst times. It's, it's I think uh, my choice would have to be Dromaeosaurus albertensis. Fair enough. Of course, you're all making dinosaur picks, and you don't know... You, you don't know what, what my nefarious plan might be. I mean, what if, like, my plan is to, like, um, unleash them on, um, uh, Rhode Island or something? <laughs> Rhode Island's had it too good for too long. <laughs> I think they I know what they did. I don't know. My brother is a big fan of basketball, but I didn't know there was a team called the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> really? Yeah. Toronto Raptors. There's some good rappers and basketball. It's actually pretty hilarious. I didn't even know oh, Toronto had basketball. Yeah. I didn't even know Toronto had um, rappers. Brothers. Or O's. Do they play basketball in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> they play basketball in Canada. No, they don't. The ball would freeze. The ball would freeze. You know? Like, you just. You... <laughs> oh, you guys. Listen. Our pandas aren't praying for pa uh, basketball yet, so that's the okay. one thing. You have pandas? Pandas are pandas. Yeah? Didn't you guys know? They're, they're hiding your basketball igloos. They come out one time to play. You know, he has a point. <laughs> he has a point. I don't know what it is, but it is a point. Um, See, are you, GC, are you stuffing your microphone into a water bottle? No. No, he says in He's the like, exact tone of voice no. that someone's stuffing their microphone that, into a water bottle. That was use. definitely... That was definitely a cat, though. Like that was more oh, like yeah. a, a, a head bridge. tilting, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a cat. Though. Like you, you like, you like. There goes. Did if that's why not have a neck. I guess that's what makes it unfinished. Oh, okay. It's a Rayman thing. Um. <laughs> Isn't it sad? Everyone always brings up Rayman. Nobody ever brings up Dynamite Heady. Ow, Jesus! <laughs> Deviant, why'd you boot me? What did I deserve to be that boot? I don't know, you just looked awful boopable. Is this the person being cute? It's bootacular. It's bootastic. Uh. Hmm. You forgot. It's been okay, boop days this entire, this entire month. You for, you're forgotten, this is your forgiveness. I forgive you. But can I forgive myself? Nope, nope, it can't be. You have to live with it for your entire life. Yay, cool. It's all, it's all problem with me, James. I, I evoke my Canadian forgiveness level. Nice. What, what's your Canadian forgiveness level? Two. Oh. Oh, it's higher than my Canadian forgiveness level. Yeah, Canada's never, can, can, Canada's never gonna forgive me. <laughs> Why not? You know what well, I was I at, guess I was I'm at jumping place. for it. <laughs> ah, it's a swing. I wonder if I should retreat that. No, oh, it's Carford Palace. It's <gasps> a metaphor. All the doors have crowns on them? It's a metaphor. To remind you that the king. That's it. That the king. Yeah. Say pet the king. Pet the king. Uh, pet, pet the king. king. Pet the king. <laughs> oh, it's king. He's a little corgi. No, oh, he is. Yes. He He's great. He's, he's a little corgi. Little corgi dog. He abides. He's, little, he's, little, little, he's a little corgi dog. He just loves his wife so much. Oh. He loves his wife so much. They puppies. They puppies. <laughs> You know what? You know what? What? Peanut? 
He loved his girlfriend so much, he puppies. That hasn't been confirmed yet. Uh -huh. I guess that's true. We all know we're going to water. We uh, all know we're going to go to water. We all know they puppies. You just drown horribly. <laughs> Yay, drowning. It's a metaphor. They can't all be metaphors. It's a metaphor. Yeah, it's a metaphor <laughs> for drowning. It's a metaphor. Yeah. You know you can't go into water in video games. It's especially a problem in those like Raft or Subnautica. You can't go into <laughs> you can't go into water when it's lava, okay? This is how I prefer to beat hedge mazes. <laughs> of all his creations, the greatest was himself. Humble. Mm. Humble king, I see. Mm. Aha. Oh, is this? Hmm. Who is it? Guy von Person Pants? You formed Broccoli! Oh, this guy. Uh, this guy? Broccoli. Bro broccoli. Oh, it is Guy von Person Pants. <laughs> what a thing. Oh, I, I got a note on the F.A., and I'm like, who is this? And I'm like, oh, it's him, that guy. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll send you a DM. Uh, please. You send him a DM, and then you just leave the rest of us incredibly confused. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how I operate. I see. I can understand why you work in a movie theater now. <laughs> the vines Excuse refused me. to stay where the king wanted them. He ordered his subjects to pull up every vine they saw. But the people were getting tired of the king's endless decrees. So they secretly began watering the vines whenever the king wasn't looking. Vine sauce. This is gonna end up like with the French, won't it? The French? Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. What if I made a threat to you directly and then stared at you for a whole minute? Now let's talk about math. Let's talk about math? <laughs> no, it's like every Vsauce video. He opens it up with like a threat and then he just stares at you. And then he goes into some nerdy thing. I would just open my, my YouTube channel videos with like a non secular like, what if everybody was cannibals and you were made out of tasty ham? And then the video is about something else entirely. And then you, know, you go into some about really everyone being made out of tasty ham. <laughs> sounds uh sounds tasty. I mean, have you played uh Bug Snacks? That's basically the plot of that game. <laughs> No, or steamed hams. Mmm, <clears throat> mm, steamed hams. Hot sauce fiend says French sauce. You mean like béarnaise, mayonnaise, um, uh, other nays, naysayers. Wow, this area you could gravy. Wow, gravy. Gravy. No, no gravy. <laughs> no gravy. Hey, a little gravy. bit. No a little gravy. gravy as a treat. <laughs> It's almost that time of year. It's almost gravy time. It's almost, yeah. Everyone knows Halloween gravy is the best. <laughs> it's like five yeah, weeks Yeah, it's made out away. of liquefied candy corn. Oh, yeah. no! Is it, so, is it so good you're going to get on the can or the gravy train? Uh, I saw a picture on social media of somebody who took a whole bunch of candy corn, melted it down slightly to make like a fruit by the foot, like fruit leather thing where it's like kind of flexible. And then use that to make a hot dog bun, and then ate a hot dog in that. I was. They, they wrapped the entire <laughs> dog around it. It's a candy corn dog. 
No. <laughs> yes. It should not exist is what it is. Uh, why why America? Why? They don't do they don't do this stuff in Argentina. I'm just saying. Uh, mm mm. -mm. Mm. Maybe not Argentina. I know they do it in Brazil. Do they? They don't make do they make ha Have you ever seen Brazilian pizza? It's terrifying. No. Now I really want it. I know I knew a dude in Brazil. I want to ask him about it now. I knew a dude in Brazil who was pizza. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I speak to sentient pizza people in Brazil. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, it's my hobby. <laughs> is, this, is this a banquet table? Yes. Yeah, I think you're in the dining hall. Oh, yeah. A lovely bouquet for the banquet. On Sunday. What am I saying? You want us to know? <laughs> no one knows. I've been extra bullshit lately because, like, this is the jam. I have been burning the candle in both ends and in the middle, and <laughs> like I'm at the point. Because they only I'm... both ends. No, you just toss the entire candle into a fireplace. Boom. Um. No, Boom. But, like I'm at that point where like I'll be making my coffee and like frying some eggs, and they'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Unless you were at that point ten years ago when I was living with you. <laughs> I would sometimes just walk past your door and for no reason in there I'd hear you go and start laughing to yourself like a crazed Muppet. I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Leaves. Leaves. Leaves to your heart. Eat shoots and leaves. Don't eat the rick. Why not? Leaves. The three and three is through zero says, imagine those vines are poison ivy. You know, I've never experienced poison <laughs> ivy, but I have experienced poison oak. Look, and that possum wanted to eat things. Have any of you ever ha had, like, poison oak or ivy? Yes. Uh, no. Yes. Oh, okay. So you know, yeah, so you know what that's like. Yes, I have, in fact, been in the American South outside for more than five minutes as a child. Oh. How could you tell? Oh, is there, is there a lot out there? Nice. Oh, you sweet summer child. Hello. <laughs> Phrase only been used. I remember before. having I to, uh. So we used to have guinea pigs that our family would take care of. Uh. And we would. There was a park nearby. We would actually take the guinea pigs out to the park and then set them down and, like, allow them to run around. Well. Usually we would put up a little like wire cage around them so they couldn't just run off. And so they kind of just like, you know, get some time outside, be able to smell the good smells, you know, this kind of stuff. Yeah. Make them happy. Well, one time my dad was just like, you know what? They're so docile. They're so domesticated. So he took one out of the cage and set it outside of the cage. He's like, look, they're not even going to go anywhere. They're not going to do anything. All because of his very oh, no, first castle. It was the only one he had ever come close to finishing, and it took him a single day. But then the tide came in and washed it all away. Oh, she's back. back. That someday he'd build a kingdom that would last forever. Anyway, you were saying about letting the guinea pigs run free. Yeah, and then, yeah, the guinea pig just sat there for like 30, three seconds, looked to the left, looked to the right, and then looked towards the forest that was on the far side of the field. And then took off faster than either of us could chase after it. Oh no. And so we had to run about 
50 to 100 feet into the woods, and it wasn't until my dad threw his coat over the guinea pig that it finally stopped. It's just like, yes! I'm gonna get eaten so quick! Yeah, <laughs> yeah those things are like power-ups for coyotes. <laughs> I probably would have just, I would have, I wouldn't have bothered. I would have been, I, w I would have been like, "Good job, son. You freed it. Now you can live a happy, <laughs> bountiful life in the forest as they were meant to." Just for that, I'm gonna get you another one. But anyway, in that fifty, the reason I tell this story is because in that little bit of woods we walked in, both me and my father got covered in poison ivy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> It'd be like that. Mainly because you were focused on just running straight at the guinea pig and not really focusing on the plants you were walking by. Just imagining this this entire scenario in my head, like, just a few minutes of pure chaos. <laughs> pure <laughs> guinea pig chaos. Aha. Uh -huh. It feels like a Benny Hill theme moment. <laughs> yeah, kind of was. <laughs> Only thing that would have been better if it were would be if it were a, um... Uh, a greased guinea pig. <laughs> Jeez. I have many questions as to why the guinea pig would be greased, but very well. <clears throat> uh, I am. Um, I eating got. By sharks. My poison oak experience was 2002, I believe. Um, I was hiking. Where the hell was I? I was hiking like in like the Hollywood Hills, and um. It was it was like spring and the weather was uh, like it was, it, there was like a shower and then it was sunny, so I took off my uh, jacket, and tied it on my waist, and hiked through. I, w I didn't know for sure whether it was poison oak or not, at, you know, when I saw it. So I hiked through it anyway, thinking, "Oh, I'll be fine." You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm wearing long pants and I'm keeping my arms above my waist. You know, so it's fine. Um, it was about it was about waist high. And um, what I didn't realize, I, th I thought, okay, but it's possible. I'll just, I'll just, you know, you know, I'll just wash my clothes. Just, and I forgot that, like, the inside, you know, my oh. inverted jacket was tied around my, you know, tied around my waist, and the the insides of my sleeves, which are now outside, were dangling and, and brushing against the voice, the voice note. And uh, even when I put it back on, I didn't realize right away. It was about, it was, it was about an hour or so afterwards. And I was like, oh, that's kind of bitchy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. I know it's not supposed to grow that way, but it did anyway. Let me go up. <laughs> Let me go up. I guess I was lucky when we went to the south. I never had, I never actually dealt with it. But that's probably because, <laughs> probably because I was indoors most of the time because I couldn't handle humidity at all. Like not even a little. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Go up this side. Nope. Or maybe yes.
Why does I want to go up this wall? Hmm. E I don't get it. Gives me some plants to use. Let's see, of the places I've been... What are they? Mexico had the worst humidity for me. With, uh... With the south being close second. But I'm a wimp. I'm from the West Coast, you know. <laughs> so it's not exactly 74 degrees with 10% <laughs> humidity the entire day. You're just like, <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but also shut up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. What? No. What am I being too sassy now? Yes, Miller, how dare. I'm so sorry, I apologize profusely. Yeah. You don't want me to go on the underside of this bridge? That seems to be like the only thing that is brightly colored. How'd that even work? Okay, back. Bridge to bridge. Boobity bib. Boobity bib. I say boobity bib. Dung. Dung. Yeah, apparently dun, you can do this. Ashley says Miller's gay bitch side is out in force lately. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, just don't bully him. <clears throat> anyway. Quite a quite a thing to call it too. I thought most people called it being bratty. Being, being what? Bratty. Oh, bratty. Okay, I, I didn't quite hear you right. Bring being Bradley, you know. <laughs> being John Bradley. Being Doug Bradley, the pinhead story. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic Mega is rating with a party of 45. <gasps> Shut oh my, up, that up, is a dude? lot of people. Oh, smokes. <laughs> oh no, it's all the rats. They make all, all the rats. rules. Ah. <laughs> Here come the rats. They hunt tonight, they stalk at night. They are the rats. What's up, Sean and friends? What all were you playing? Yeah, uh, tell us all the things and stuff and also things. They were playing... Uh, Mega Man <laughs> Network Transmission, apparently. Nice. So, I found a Capcom fan, eh? <laughs> oh, Rick has been mousetized. I know. <laughs> the vines were slowly bearing the wait, wait, he's not a real mouse no right now. He tried, the king oh, wait, never mind. Them. So <clears throat> he decided to create something... Oh, too soon. He mixed in we shot the dog 200 times in the face earlier today the for completion's sake. Well, Excellent. Good. 
But it gold. wasn't until the thing began to coil its tentacles and snap its jaws what has video games done to us? What he had made. And for the first time in his life... Next thing you mean, they'll be, do they'll be trying to trip cats to The king times. made... An eldritch abomination. Oh, look at Yay. that! Yay! They even yeeted the mouse. Well, I mean, the mouse was the uh, the first form that Jonas uh, thought about yeeting. The mouse is the reason why the yeet command exists. <laughs> He's so mm -hmm. cute. Just want to check him over the fence. You just keep climbing this. I do not understand the traversal mechanism for this game. Hmm. Well, you see, uh, you put the lime in the coconut. Uh, okay, I just spider climb this pipe. <laughs> this is something that normal people do. <laughs> spider climb, spider cures. Balloon. Balloons. 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 Ah. I return. Well, so you have. The prophecy has been fulfilled. Yeah! <sighs> I've been playing this new word game. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. Mm. It's one of the uh, word games on like the the New York Times games app. Mm -hmm. It's called Spelling Bee. Mm -hmm. They give you like seven letters to make as many words as you possibly can with, mm -hmm. and the words have to be a minimum of four letters long. And every puzzle, there's one specific letter that has to be included in every word. Hmm. It's deceptively difficult. And I have made quite a bit of gibberish with this thing that has not been words. Even Very good. Finished, the creature had no trouble swallowing up all the king's soldiers, half his zoo, and three peppermint gazebos. It was only with the help of his pet hippo and the giant that the king was able to force it into the sea. Well, you know, everybody has to uh, years after, the rely on help from their pet hippo and giant every now and then. Stoker, have you no sense of whimsy? <laughs> Just say the rest of the giant. <laughs> you could say that again. Uh -huh. I'm not sure I could. I just need to make some <laughs> vines go up there. No, oh, is that what you need to do? Yes. Oh, okay. Just um. Did you lose the hose? I the hose was connected to the wall. You can only use it for that long distance thing. The hose is connected to the wall now. 
The, one the three to the three floor is now. Stir Zero wants to know what's whimsy. Explain whimsy, Jonas. Whimsy. That's when you use your imagination. It's quite whimsical. That's right. Yeah, this is uh this is an educational stream. Uh Rick is uh actually considered um Rick is is certified as a teacher in the He's state of uh, no, no pants Abama. <laughs> subjects had all moved to a panorama. Except He's a John, teacher -roo. who was quite loyal teacher and also very lazy. I like the expression on the king here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I am smart. He thinks. He looks a lot like that guy from the Pringles cans. <laughs> am I wrong? No, of course I'm not wrong. Shut up. Is there a name for that character? Pringles yeah, guy. uh, Pring Pringles von Pringles von Pringington. The third. Esquire. Junior. Junior. Jinx. Junior, senior. Oh, I love their music. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm not sure that I've ever been to this location before, but something about it rings a bell. All right. Duck. Da, 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 da. His name is Julius Pringles, is that correct? <laughs> that sounds familiar, so yeah, probably. Does that mean that on on March 15th we can all stab Pringles cans? Yes! <laughs> what I've always wanted! Monroe waved goodbye to the giant and set sail. But no matter how fast he went, the swan was always just out of reach. And not for the first time. Oh my god, how he got the name is even better. So the name somewhere. Hold on. Then they flew into a cloud and everything went black. Monroe died again. <laughs> so the name started as a Wikipedia hoax. Somebody just added the name Julius. And then a bunch of news articles picked it up, and then <laughs> the actual Pringles company was just like, well, we don't really have a name. You know what? Julius works. <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone just made up something as a joke, and then the company was just like, yeah, sure, let's go with it. Absolutely astounding. <laughs> My respect for Pringles has, has grown uh, a, a, a number today. It's I mean, hey, it's free marketing. I, yeah, that's probably why they did it. My my respect for Pringles has grown a number between one and seven million. Arcus Velas is fanning the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Pringles fanning. When Rose sailed on in darkness, following the Swan's voice, but he never saw. Now, if only Pringles didn't Rose taste like cardboard. <laughs> nope, not possible. When the clouds lifted, the swan was gone, leaving Monroe alone in the middle of. Now, come on, they have a flavor other than cardboard. It's he salt. Yeah. Nothing else to be done. <laughs> he jumped. Plain Pringles definitely taste like cardboard to me. I don't know, I have right black balloons, but everything is black. I guess oh, no. I'll start walking this way. I'm all right with the sour cream and onion ones, though. Those are pretty good. I just That was a terrible idea. <laughs> it always weirded me out that uh Pringles are literally just like reconstituted potato chips. Yeah, they're not even allowed to call them chips because technically they're not. Are they like crisps or something? Yeah, they're like Well, they're made from potato flakes that then they like mash them into a thing and and then they take that make a log out of it, cut it into slices, and then that's what they fry up and call a Pringle. Yeah, they're like, uh, they're like a potato byproduct. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. 
isn't I mean well okay come on though I mean isn't honey like like bee vomit or something what well, does that have to do with Pringles isn't that I'm just... that would be like somebody trying to like liquefy beeswax and then say oh yeah this is that this is honey this is the same thing look I had a point but it but it it, it, it didn't exist and I proved okay. your point was stupid <laughs> <laughs> Well, I am being bright today. <laughs> oh my god. Miller. Like, literally, just get real potato chips. They're just a thousand times better. <laughs> Miller, yes, but they don't sp- come in a can, is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the main selling point of Pringles is that they come in that tube, which makes uh, more of them end up being intact and not broken up and crummy. Exactly. I have. A, I, I mean, there's yeah. that, but there's also the advantage of if you have a dog with a long snout, then you get to make up a viral meme. <laughs> Let me do it for you. Have you seen cats? Why is that cats? become a thing? <laughs> Ever seen those cats uh, that that reach into the, into the uh, Pringles uh, case and they just can't stop? <laughs> like, I gotta get it. I gotta get whatever's in there. Do you see? Have you ever seen the polydactyl cats that can grab stuff like with like semi opposable thumbs? Like, you ever seen that? No, I haven't. It's crazy. Uh. <clears throat> what a weirdest thing! Link like the cat thing cat. on the Discord. Oh. Yeah. What the a weirdest thing. thing. The thing. One of my cats did was uh. At the stairs, uh, the cats uh, like to lay on the stairs where it's like head height, and you walk by them, they just stare at it. But Candy Corn would like stare at everybody's head going by, but just suddenly, out of nowhere, swat, huh. just like that. Gaze cloud well, your I hair. I guess I will walk there. But there's nothing in your hair. He just does it. Okay, but like, listen, Pringles have been manufactured since before supercomputers. Pringles have been manufactured since the dawn of time. <laughs> Maybe the entire universe is actually Pringle shaped. Have you ever considered that? It's true. I'm trying to remember what other uh, can you can't forget about. It. It's like for wagon wheels. Physics are all like, is the universe open or closed? It's Pringle shaped. Speaking of old. Old snacks. Has anybody ever? Nope. Anybody remember the big wagon wheels? Vaguely, yeah, kind of, sorta. Hmm. Nope. Like as a kid, I remember those. I, I have not seen them since. But then again, I don't, I don't like hit up the snack aisle much anymore. Don't blame you. Wagon wheels. What's that? You ever had a wagon wheel? Wagon. W a g o n. Oh, geez. he thought uh, his his captioning thing said wagging. <laughs> wagging wheels, funny. But yeah, I remember those. Oh man, those yeah, hamburger you know, wacky shape. wheels. The hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what was that? Yeah, saying? wacky wheels. The uh, Mario Kart knockoff. That was it. <laughs> That's how what they show it? affection with murder. Well, you see, what do they call? They, what is it called in Canada? Like uh, mac and cheese? It's called like craft dinner, right? Is yes, that, it's yeah. Primarily craft dinner. There it's, is mac and cheese down here, though. I was gonna say, like, that, it made me wonder if that's like if you call all brands of mac and cheese craft dinner, if it's not craft. Like, it's one of those things like in the South where everything's Coke, which is no. wrong. No, you're hey. right. Uh, we do. Hey. I mean, you're right, but... <laughs> <laughs> I never really got in depth about it, but the thing is, from my, my experience with Kraft Dinner and Mac and Cheese, the main difference is Kraft is just much more cheesy. And I All love right. it. Nice. I love it. Do you ever, like, make, like, mac and cheese and then, like, melt another thing of cheese in there? Mm, and it just no. becomes, like... Decadent, Jonas. Yeah, it just turns into, like, like pasty fondue shit with, like... <laughs> Funny enough, <laughs> funny enough, now that you mentioned that, I also, I remember when I was young, when I debated this, I said, wait a minute, what if you put more cheese on mac and cheese? Does that make it more uh, Kraft Dinner? <laughs> <laughs> because Kraft Dinner is basically cheesier mac and cheese, really. <laughs> Did I ever tell you all about Homeroom? Um, 
it, it was this um it was like it was like a mac and cheese only restaurant in uh, in the Bay Area. I feel like this uh, this is something you've told me about before. I remember I probably have. <laughs> but they had like fancy mac and cheese. They had like they had like like it, you know quote unquote Italian Mediterranean mac and cheese, which was like you know sun dried tomatoes and like you know like fontina and and, and garlic. Um, so they graduated from easy mac to intermediate and difficult mac. As an Italian, I'm sorry, but Kraft Mac and Cheese just looks and oh, tastes on, like sorry. sadness to me. I tried it once. That's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> the orb just like, moved faster than I can even walk. Orb. Funny, according to Crafter's website, it basically originally originated from Italy in 1937. <laughs> <laughs> so even though it's, it's pretty much everybody knows that Canada, it actually was born in Italy. Alligator. <laughs> Alligator. Alligator. It's an alligator. <laughs> the alligator dental done. Or is this Anne Francis and a guitar? Anyway, a homemade mac and cheese is just a thousand times better. Or even better, a carbonara. <laughs> well, it's like I say, like, I'm pretty sure there's not that much of a difference between Kraft Mac and Cheese and Kraft Air, except for one is cheese or the nutter. <clears throat> oh, well, just to be sure, I'm checking up on it right now, and basically from my, from what I understand, it has more, nu not nutritional, but more uh, carbohydrates and protein than the average uh, Kraft, uh, Kraft Mac and Cheese. Mm. Less fat. I'm hungry. Get I'm yourself some Pringles. <laughs> you know, I tried to resist the urge to no. talk food on, on Rick's stream because we get hungry so every time. Chat, don't get hungry. He painted one. When Too she late. opened her eyes, the king was uh, astonished. He had created a female version of himself. The only way we're going to stop this now is play something hungry. Overcooked. No. So the king painted himself a girlfriend, like any furry. <laughs> mm. Yeah, a little bit of a super liminal moment there. I like how this game keeps switching up mechanics. Yeah, I was that that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping okay, they need to like start switching it up a bit. If they'd done just the ink blot thing, it would have gotten repetitive real quick. It would have gotten repetitive real quick. It would have gotten repetitive real quick. And it would have gotten, gotten repetitive real quick. It, it would have gotten repetitive and repetitive. Mm. And repetitive. Would it have gotten repetitive? And repetitive? A little bit. It would have gotten repetitive. Mm. I can't stand things that are repetitive. Yeah, me neither. I hate re repetition. <laughs> Chat, smack us all. Yeah, good. we need a combined bop for that one. Hold, Hold on some. now. Hi. Miller's in the room. He deserves it too. Yeah, you're in you're uh, you're an accomplice. Rude. You're aiding and abetting. 
What am Jeez, I I'm not betting on anything. I don't know seeing a payout here. You're aiding in the betting, I'm aiding in the batting. Oh. <clears throat> Bursting with joy, the king locked himself in his workshop painting gifts for his queen. He never saw her lack of interest, though she made no effort to hide it. The only gift she kept was his first, a little silver paintbrush. So Stoker, where would so you rate? Yeah, where would you rate this on the feel punk scale? Uh, 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 I feel like Spirit Fair is probably the ten on that scale. You know? Oh God! Yeah, I'm a cute little mushroom kid, and now I'm gonna die. Ooh. Field punk scale. Every yeah, you know, Stoker has, you know, Stoker coined the phrase "field punk" uh, as the name of this kind of genre, uh, where these games, like Undertale, the where they're basically about therapy. Creatures of the forest, though she never finished a single one. Five months oh, went by. Oh, you mean cozy core? Is is that what it's? Is that what people are calling it? Not quite. Cozy core usually doesn't have as strong of an emotional message at the end. Uh, Joke. It's what uh, I'm calling it. Oh, I see. Oh, that's what Cozy Core called. has an actual definition, though. That's the problem. Cozy Core is like Button City, right? Yes. Yeah. I like. I would say Button that. City or um, what's the ball bouncing one we played, where it was like we fought monsters and you were a mouse and you were fighting oh, like um, giant crystal things. Beast Breaker. Beast Breaker. Yeah, Beast yes, Breaker. Beast. Free speaker, I would say, is also cozy core. Like it had some emotional things to it, but it wasn't it as wasn't strong. It wasn't crushing. Yeah. God. I still have mixed feelings about games like that, where the therapy is just up front, like not a subtext. It's just right there. It is the core through line. Just because you will have therapy and you will enjoy it. Well, yeah, no, it, it, it's like it, it, it's. <laughs> I mean, that was not even an option in a lot of the games I had growing up. There just was not, the, you know, the, you know, there wasn't enough RAM for a narrative in a lot of those games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and it is definitely. Uh, on the one hand, I like that it's a thing that people are, you know, that games are evolving to include this kind of emotional expression. On the other hand, it, it's so awkward sometimes. Oh, BRB. Like, I like it, but I don't. But I do. He likes it, but he don't. But he do. I am ambivalent toward it. <laughs> like, give me a second. I was right here. I guess it's because I'm very left-brained with a lot of games, like very left-brained. Like I am, like I'm purely in analysis mode, and dealing with emotional stuff feels it's weird to inject into a game for me. Mm. It says, welcome to the online blender tutorial. Yeah, yeah, it does feel like blender, doesn't it? <laughs> that game want to take you for a ride. Ding, 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 ding. Rick's doing uh, a lot of extruding. It has nothing to do with the fact that he walked away. It's fine. <laughs> Is it? It's fine. Is it? It's fine. <laughs> 
can just talk smack about him. <laughs> oh, can we? <gasps> That's right. Rick That's is cool. like a really good artist who works really fast and like literally has never done anything wrong in his art ever at any time. Um. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Don't. Shh, shh. Everyone be cool. Be cool. No, 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 be cool, be cool, be cool. He's being a sassy bitch. He's being a burp, burp. Oh, that's a hesitant uh, poly mesh. There we go. Ah, there you go. Vertical extrusion. A fruit flavored fusion. There it is. A fruit flavored extrusion. Oh. I come from, by the way. I forget. Um, the fruit flavored fusion. <laughs> it was one of my. Uh, I was having one of my moments. You know, like, um, I was just sort of making my oh. coffee and being giggly and like I looked at the tea and like 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 herbal infusion tea and it like, did like, like you know like you know it did like a fruit fusion I was like ah oh, yes a fruit flavored fusion like it was like a you know like a cereal mascot or something and then I just hmm. started, <laughs> and I thought to myself that's funny I should I should never let it go I should just start saying it to Stoke or test market and see how it works out it does sound very marketable <laughs> I was saying, would beginner's guide be emotion core? Definitely not cozy core. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so a beginner's yeah. guide would definitely be emotion core. Emotion core, yeah, yeah. Be beginner's guide, like, there, there wasn't even any like, like it was just, it was kind of melancholy, like, um, you know, a lot of these emotional games. They'll they'll try and make it about like friendships and like you know like bonding with characters. Beginner's Guide just felt like it felt like it felt really lonely. Like same same general genre, but really just like like you were. I mean, it was it's a person. It's hard to say what it was like because it's it's much easier to say what it was, which is one person saying sorry, right, as loud as they could, knowing that the other person will never hear them. And where does pseudo regalia fall into that? You get the uh, emotion of seeing a bottomless bunny goat girl with huge hips. I mean... N neither? Neither. I'm back. What's neither? Uh, no. is pseudo regalia comfort core? Or comfy core? Or is it- or is it feels? I mean, it's probably comfortable for somebody. Uh, it's- it's comforting for me because it involves looking at a, um... Uh, shapely, pantsless uh, furry waifu from behind yeah. for most mm -hmm. of the game. Who you can add pants to if you feel the need. Huh. Yeah, that's blasphemous. <laughs> if, yes, uh, that is anyone, what I said. If uh, anyone has ever done that, I am judging you forever. <laughs> God, if there was ever a 3D uh, Haven Celeste game where there'd be like a junk filter, like you could just switch them into null mode if you wanted to. So you mean like uh, like what they have on Baldur's Gate? That was gonna well, yeah, like what they have on Baldur's Gate, or like what's on the comic right now. It's the option for non furries, basically. <laughs> Imagine not being furry, so cringe. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, like I believe. I know Steam does, and I believe Itch.io also supports uh, explicit games. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean... Is oh yeah, they're all over Itch.io. Ask me how I know. Hmm. Is Junk by itself... I guess Junk by itself is explicit. Okay, yeah, fine. 
Uh, because we live in a, a weird society that's like, the natural body is inherently vile. <clears throat> Do you remember that, uh, that hullabaloo they made with, um, what's-his-face? Um... Uh, was it Colin Powell? I think it was Colin Powell. He made that whole speech, um... <clears throat> Uh, that mentioned, among other things, the evils of pornography, and he did it in front of these White House statues uh, that were, like, tits out. I do not remember that, but I believe it. You don't remember that? Yeah, they. he did this whole speech in front of these about the evils of, like, pornography on the internet and whatever, uh, in front of these, these artistic nude statues, and everyone was like, hey, he was making this whole speech, and behind him these statues had their tits out the whole time. <laughs> And then they had to, like, the next time uh, those statues appeared on TV, they'd gotten little drapes to put over <laughs> their breath. Oh, nice. <laughs> you seriously don't remember that? No. Uh, well, I do! <laughs> yeah. Maybe I just chose to, uh, chose to remember certain things about the bush years. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Isn't that Journey? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Two cloaked figures with scarves going up the mountain to the point of light. Huh. Out all this yeah, was, was an Easter that's egg. That's the little prince. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse you. Excuse me. Excuse me, why is it play? Wasn't there another stair at the top? Was there? I thought there I are. saw one. I didn't see anything. But if you want me to go all the way back up... I mean, you've got nothing to lose but time, the most precious commodity of all. Mm. We're not gonna finish this tonight anyway, so... <coughs> well, don't blame me if it's not there. I'm totally gonna blame you, dude. Get ready to be blamed. Yeah. Flex your blame... blamers. Blamer gamers? Flex your blamers. Flex your blamers? Flex your blamers, gamers. Shake your blamers. <laughs> Move your dead bones, bones, bones. Uh, no. <laughs> to my loyal fans, flex your game. <laughs> God, someone should reanimate that. You mean reanimate the reanimator re song? The, yes. All right, Jonas, Come on. You're it. Come on. You Internet. volunteered to organize Do this it. one. You have volunteered to organize this one. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> so you're an instigator, but not a leader. Okay. Look, I just I just set the boulder rolling. I don't even look when it you know flattens the town. Okay. <laughs> you just set the boulder ro rolling. You turn a blind eye to what it does to Sisyphus. Exactly. <laughs> You're just the eagle keeper. What the eagle keep the eagle actually does to Prometheus's liver is none of your business. Yeah, I know. I am looking around for another stairs. <laughs> I don't see anything. For another a stairs. For another a stairs. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Can you somehow reach the window? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I can try this. This is slightly slanted. Does that let me go to the window? Oh. To the window. To the wall? 
That's looking good. Hey! Ooh, we have here. <clears throat> that counted as stairs, so I am blameless. It wasn't stairs. <laughs> It stares a clock somewhere. Oh. On the night the <clears throat> gave birth, she left. All she took was a single unfinished painting. When the king woke, he found no explanation, and he never did. A swan without a neck. Roll credits. <laughs> the King's Monument. For nine years, the king didn't paint a thing. But then, <clears throat> he had a vision. A colossal monument of himself that would be his legacy for the ages. But he hadn't even finished painting the scale model, which was over 100 feet tall itself, when his powers began to fail. <clears throat> Uh-oh, it is a metaphor for death. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I mean, well, if you want to get the everyone. biggest feels punk thing here, it's probably <laughs> going to be that this was the kid's father who was an actual painter, and this is the onset of uh, Alzheimer's or dementia or something. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> It's some kind of, you know, disease. <laughs> it's some kind of something or other. Then one night he went to sleep and couldn't even finish his own dream. Oh, good and he's Lord. been trapped inside it ever since. See, it's like, I like this, but I don't like this. <laughs> <clears throat> You're like, I like it, but I hate it. No, I mean... It... How about this? It's always tragedy. I like that this generation is exploring this <laughs> stuff through this medium. I don't like actually experiencing it. <laughs> it's interesting because like I remember how someone uh, was it observing was like that, uh -oh. that every horror movie nowadays is about grief and trauma. Oh, I it. Whereas uh, it used to be that horror movies uh. were mostly about uh, outrunning the guy with the chainsaw. Well, okay. Some horror movies were about guilt. Yes. You know? But that... I mean, go... to be fair, to be fair, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was also about the meat industry. Um, um, which I read about was funny, too, about that movie. <laughs> There's a lot of funny things about the making of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, the fact that it was, uh, it was financed by people who uh, planned to use the movie as a tax dodge for all their porn money. That's a <clears throat> so this whole game is a Psychonuts level, right? <laughs> Psychonuts. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's fascinating, especially the way they, they're tackling this visually, but I don't know. <clears throat> it's probably because I've been, you know, bottle fed on the hero's journey and vi and, and also video games where, you know, <clears throat> you're trying to, to swat the pixelated, you know, uh, ball over the pixelated net and that's as sophisticated as it got for us. Yeah, but have you ever thought about how the ball feels about this, Jonas? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. You I'm only sure. think about yourself. Dental uh, crisis for Jonas here. <clears throat> I 
Anyway, I'm completely fine with the whole field punk thing and examining these, these yeah, deep dark things and these I, things. However, I do think we are inevitably going to have a bunch of backlash parodies of this. <laughs> yeah. It's inevitable, yeah. <laughs> I think once it becomes... Okay, it's going to reach a, a, a crest, and then people are going to start making parodies. It hasn't quite hit that mm -hmm. yet. No, we're They're, not there yet. No. We're, we're, but we're, we'll get there. Yeah, we're closing in on it, but... <laughs> As Monroe stood there trying to think of something to say, the statue shuddered and the hatch slammed shut. And now there was no more need for talking. The king was awake. All the metaphors they use are kind of, you know, they're fairly timeless. It's just the way it's all arranged and presented feels different. It's more front there. There's no, it's, it's not, it's not a subtext. It's just right there. It's just. <laughs> text. Yeah, no, it's just it's just the through line. And it's Ah it, it's you, the boy from my dream. What a strange dream it was. My life's work was being destroyed and all I could do was watch. Come sit here by the fire. That a hippo. Sure thing, hippopotamus. It all began right there in the house <laughs> that I grew up in. But are King Hippo from Punch Out. <laughs> I'm thinking of that uh, heavy uh, at the children's advertiser commercial. Where it, like are the hip house hippos real? I open the door. Oh yeah, I've seen that. There. That one was cute. The house hippo. <laughs> space. Yeah, I love that. It was a very good way of uh, making a concept uh, understandable for kids. Funny how we that, never right, in the U.S. had uh, any public service thing about media literacy, hmm, or about like questioning <laughs> the things you hear on TV. That's uh, interesting, isn't it? Okay. <sighs> I missed something here, didn't I? <laughs> it's the beginning of the game again. This is the game that doesn't end. When I got outside, just... disaster. Some miscreant had painted everything. My garden was ruined. Yep. <clears throat> and then my statue spoke and said, Help me! Some little hooligan is running around splattering everything in the garden. I think he's headed for the... <laughs> some of it got in my mouth. Oh, dear. I don't remember that happening. Well, you know, it's a uh, the jerk who painted things. everything over. Labyrinth, abandoned and forgotten. Yes. <clears throat> Did the game freeze? I don't know. Is it? Oh. Maybe it's artistic. Yeah, unfinished swan is not responding. Is oh no, it's unfinished. Oh, what will we do? Oh man, like one of those movies with freeze frames. When I click on the notification that Rick has started playing <laughs> unfinished swan. Well, um. Well, it probably did it save. I think that's yeah. what we're about to find out. All right. Well, just, you know, <clears throat> like, same point. <clears throat> ah, it's you, the boy from my dream. What a strange dream it was. My life's work was being destroyed, and all I could do was watch. Come, sit here by the fire. I like that hippo. It all began right there in the house Eel. I grew up in. Why do hippopotamuses have to be such weirdly cute animals for how incredibly I vicious they are? At the door. Just like on the night I left, I opened the door. But there was Actually, I guess you could say the same thing for a lot of animals space. like bears, <laughs> wolverines, badgers. 
You ever see that video of dangerous animals being ca caught being cute? No, but I think I need to. <laughs> Nature is weird. It is weird. Nature, go home. You're drunk. But when I got outside, disaster. Some miscreant had painted everything. My garden was ruined. My garden was ruined! And then my statue spoke and said, Help me! Some little hooligan is running around splattering everything in the garden. I think he's headed for the... <laughs> Some of them got in my mouth. Oh, I man. swear it almost sounds like J.K. Simmons sometimes. What was it I heard J.K. Simmons in recent... Oh yeah, Baldur's Gate. I saw my unfinished labyrinth. Abandoned. That's interesting. Forgotten. Yeah, he is uh, Ketherick Thorm. And then the credits appeared. What a name. All dreams have credits? What did oh, you say, yes. Miller? And subtitles. What a name. It is indeed a name. That is a D&D &D ass name. <clears throat> Just very silly. I think overall I'd give it a thumbs up. Beautiful city, strangled by those disgusting vines. I built it to stand a hundred lifetimes, and instead, it'll be buried in one, a monument for weeds. <clears throat> oh, just good night. Ah, didn't notice. M baby. Let's see who's going. People. Who can like the raid? old days? It smelled like roasted goose for a moment. I was happy. Not gonna come any farther? Nope. Eh. I have just the llama. Then suddenly, I was alone again. The world had become <coughs> cold and dark. I felt my own death rising up around me. <clears throat> That's an X to pick a box. Floated past chunks of the house I built, or, or started building. Scarcely ten years later, and the whole thing was in ruins. My works were meant to last forever, but most of them will be gone before I am. <coughs> Excuse me. I was at a funeral. My own, as it turned out. 
A food flavored funeral. Okay. Oh, okay, that's. Mm. Okay, come on. <laughs> I'm a monster, honey. <laughs> oh, you really tickled me with that one, John. I'm a terrible person. I saw you in hell. My last hope of leaving something would live on after me. And I began to walk towards it. And with each step I oh. took, I got larger. Oh, I needed that. <laughs> I just kept growing and growing. I'm ruining like this point. You better fuck them all. <laughs> we do battle with the statue. Yes! Oh. Aww. And sank. Final boss! I saw my life's work laid out in front of me. Soon, it would crumble into dust, or be painted over by someone who would come after me. In the same way. Joking aside, it is really fast. I was here before. Mm -hmm. Have I listened to the narrator outtakes, Ashley? Yes, I have listened to some of the Baldur's Gate narrator outtakes. They are uh, quite good. Have you ever heard some of the, uh, um, like... As I sat there, looking out into the darkness, I thought back on all the things I'd built and <coughs> left unfinished. I realized something. I wasn't sad that it was all gone. I had fun making all that stuff. I would have done it anyway. And then... Somehow I knew that when I woke up, all my work really would be destroyed. And that's when you showed up. <coughs> I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. I have something for you. This brush isn't mine anymore. My work is over. It belongs to you now. I hope it makes you happy and that someday they will say, he is a better man than his father. That door will take you anywhere you want to go, but leave quickly, child. None of this will last for long. And that night, even though he was very tired, Monroe did something that would have made his mother very happy. He painted. Go credits. Alright. That is well, the unfinished swan. We finished the unfinished swan. Yay! Finito. Oh my god, Vox, you clipped it. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed, I cried, I coughed quite a bit. Yes. Yeah, um. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, so who is going? Well, uh, Duper. Duper, the favorite llama. Duper's playing backrooms, which will feel, which will be quite a tonal shift from this. <laughs> 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 anyway, give Duper the best, and we will see you next time. See good you night, everybody. Time. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night everybody.